rather than the upper and it's below that rubber o-ring it'll never slide up on the tripod because if it slides up on the tripod when you're trying to carry it the legs spread and it makes it very difficult to carry but by using this method you'll never have a problem and a tripod can be carried away or placed in the bag and uh, stored. Next thing we want to do is put the stretcher away. And if you follow this procedure when you're rolling it up, you'll never have any problem. First of all, lay the strap down on the ground with the inside of the buckle facing upward and then lay the stretcher foot end over the strap the two straps at the foot end don't try to put those in as you're rolling it up and notice the head end is uh, curled up I want to be sure that that is flat before you start rolling it because the next time you use it you won't be able to reverse roll the stretcher so adjust those straps down to where the head end will lay flat on the ground To roll a sked small enough to get it into the bag, it's easier with your bare hands because your hands have a little bit of moisture. It makes it easier to hold the sked. Roll it up as tight as you can get it. When you get a little bit of a roll started, put your knee on it, and your knee will keep it from coming open and getting bigger on you. And then use your knee to assist you in rolling it up. And then take each strap and place it between the flat part of the stretcher and the roll and roll a uh, stretcher right over the strap. That keeps the straps nice and flat and easy to use for the next time. Uh, so just keep on rolling. Do the same thing with each strap. When you get all the way to the foot end, put your knee on the stretcher and hold it there very firmly and then you have both hands free to connect the uh, retainer strap. Take the handle on the side where there are no buckles and shake it so the drag handle will come out of the other end where the buckles are. That's the last thing you want to put into the bag. If it gets down inside the bag first, then it prevents the stretcher from going all the way down in the bag. Then you tuck all of the straps into the stretcher except for the drag strap. Okay, at this point, we'll tuck all the handles in and we'll put the stretcher into the bag. After the stretcher's in the bag, then you tuck the drag handle down inside and close the bag. The next thing we want to do is put the rescue hauler away. The easiest way to do that is sit down on the ground and take the handles from the bag, one on each side, and put them one on each knee. This holds the bag open and it makes it very easy to stuff the rope down inside. And this is the only way you put the rope into the bag because if you try to coil it into the bag, it's going to tangle the next time you take it out. This way it will come out tangle free every time. After you get all the rope into the bag, then you place the uh, rescue hauler on top of the rope and uh, close the bag. Now if there's a pocket on the outside of the bag, you put the rescue hauler into the pocket. I like to keep everything together, so I'll put the rescue stirrup and the ascender together in the bag with the rescue hauler. That way the whole kit is complete and just close the drawstring and the bag is ready to be stored. Stowing the chain is very simple. One person can hold the bag and another person can just drop the chain down into the bag. In the same method we put the rope into the other bag.
when all of the chain is in the bag, you take the screw link at the end, open it up, and put it around one part of the drawstring on the uh, bag. And this way you can always find the end of the chain very quickly and very easily. And at that time, close the screw link and then drop the chain in the bag and secure the bag. That's it.